Hi guys, Rich Bassini here. Today I want to share some food for thought with you guys. Um, as a lot of you know, being a YouTube creator is not the easiest thing <laughs> to achieve, especially when you want to create a, or start a YouTube channel. But I got I want to share two videos with you guys. Um, one is going to be with PewDiePie, and the other one is going to be from Matt Koval, the ten the ten fundamentals or YouTube fundamentals. And I'm just going to play a little snippet from Matt. PewDiePie, I'm not going to play his video. It's only seven minutes long, but I just want to share the takeaway I got from it. So without further ado, let me just close this thing out here. Let me minimize myself here. Okay. I get a lot of Google alerts, in case you guys don't know how I come across these things. And they give you a lot of different, you know, you get a lot of news, like YouTube news. Or, or they may, not only YouTube news, but other news, basically, in the e-commerce world. I get it on eBay, Amazon, Etsy, and so on and so forth. They get a whole bunch of them. <coughs> Excuse me. But anyway, I came across this one here, and I said, what? Why well, didn't quit? PewDiePie wants to quit. Now, here's a guy that's a successful YouTuber. He's got over 111 million subscribers. Look at this right over here. 111 million subscribers. Okay. He's been on the platform for many years. Okay. Longer than I have. I've been on YouTube for 20, since 2013. And I got to tell you, it's an adventure. <laughs> really, it's an adventure. I, I love it, though. I do. I love, I love YouTube. I love putting videos out there. And the thing is, you know, you want to put videos out there that are entertaining at some point. But at the same time, you want to get your message across uh, when it comes to creating videos. Now, this video here I found kind of interesting on PewDiePie. It's only seven minutes long. I'm not going to get too too much into it. I'm not going to even play a clip from it. I'm going to let you listen to it. You know, at your time. I'm going to give. I'll drop the link down there, and you could check it out. All right. Uh, I highly recommend you check it out and listen to what he has to say. Now, the topic I was talking about today is you know, your YouTube, your channel can get played out no matter how big it is. Okay. Seriously. Now here's a man with 111 million subscribers. Okay. And from what I gather, I wrote over here, I had to write things on pen and paper because I can't remember everything verbatim. Okay, so I wrote over here, the takeaway I got from this video, and this is my own personal take on it. Um, he needed some time to reflect on what was next for his channel and what content could be for, used for the upcoming videos. In closing, I said, as with anything in life, uh, certain things get played out. You could watch a lot of videos on how to make pizza, and once you learn how it's done, you don't need to watch that video again. That is why YouTube, that's why with YouTube, you need to come up with different contents. And then I put over here, let's talk about the Ronald videos. And that's going to be with the 10 Fundamentals with Matt Colo. I'm going to play that little clip it, and then, you know, the rest is up to you. Now, I'm not going to keep this video super, super long. It's just to put a little information out there, give you a little insight. On, and, you know, hopefully you'll get a takeaway from the, two, from the two videos. And the other one I recommend you to check out. Is this one over here. Now, I'll drop the link to this one here for you guys. It'll be in the comment section. This one here, the YouTube uh, Fundamentals here, it's the 10, funda the 10 YouTube Fundamentals, okay? And this is from Matt Covell. And these are the things he's going to talk about. So you guys might want to check it out. Shareability, conversation, interactivity, consistency, targeting, sustainability, discoverability, accessibility, collaboration, and inspiration. Definitely check it out, okay? Now, this one here is 20 minutes. But for the 20 minutes, I'm sure you guys are going to get a takeaway from it, and hopefully it's going to be helpful. And this video, what I'm putting out right now, is geared towards the new YouTube creators. Okay? It's for the new YouTube. Now, the seasoned ones, the seasoned uh, YouTube creators out there are ones that have established channels. They may no, not need this, but they already surpassed that there. Don't forget, now, as a new YouTuber... Um, you're going to, you know, like I said, you got to meet the thresholds in order to get your channel monetized, which is 4,000 hours of watch time and 1,000 subscribers in order to meet that threshold to, to get monetized, all right? So that's what, that's basically, like I said, this video is geared towards the new YouTubers out there. People who are experienced, that have been on a platform for many years. I've been on YouTube since 2013. I'm not a YouTube guru by any means, please. <laughs> I'm not. Um, I do have 1,588 videos, but that does not make me, you know... Mr. Guru here, uh, YouTube Guru, that I know every single thing about it. I'm still in a learning phase, believe it or not. Believe it or not. And my YouTube channel, thanks to you subscribers out there who stuck me through thick and thin, got my channel monetized back, I think it was in either September or August of 2021. Okay? So think about it. Look at the time span. From 2013 to 2021, that's how many years it took to get my YouTube channel monetized. Thanks to you uh, all of you out there, so, you know, so subscribers out there, loyal subscribers who've been with me through thick and thin, it is greatly appreciated. I can never thank you enough. And whoever that thousand subscriber was, 
thank you, thank you, thank you that made it possible for this channel to grow. It's slow growing, but it's growing, okay? And if you are new to my YouTube channel, <clears throat> I like to help people, okay? My channel for intense purpose is to help, inspire, and share. And that's what I'm going to do. Now, on my channel, I do talk about different things, okay? And the reason why I like to keep it like that there, talk about different topics and do different things with it, is because it keeps people coming back for more, hopefully. Now, I know there are some successful YouTubers out there that'll say, you should stick within your niche. In other words, if you're a person that knows all about digital cameras, the DSLR cameras, and you know that's your expertise, teach people on how, how to you know, take videos and how the camera works and all the functionality, and that's fine, okay? But if you're a person you know, that has a very limited budget, you can't, you can't, well, at least I can't, I can speak for myself, I can't go out and buy different cameras and talk about the functionality and the usage of them there and what, you know, if I recommend them or not, okay? That I don't have the budget for. So for me, I have to stay at it. Now, do I have cameras? Yeah, I have cameras that I purchased a long time ago that I could talk a little about. But for the most part, I don't have that kind of revenue to go out, or I should say disposable income to go out and buy expensive cameras so I could do reviews and create videos. It's just not going to happen. It's not in my budget, okay? But anyway, um, it, it, is a lot, it, it is a lot to comprehend at times. But remember one thing. Going into this here, into creating your YouTube channel, go in with an open mind, a clear head, you know what I'm saying? Um, you don't have to sit there and think, you know, brainstorm 24-7. Uh, we all have talents, folks. We all have talents. You have talents. I have talents. You might say, well, what are they? Well, whatever you're good at. And, and as I always say in my other videos, and people probably get tired of hearing it, but let's say you're a person, you've got a hidden talent. You know how to paint. You could do beautiful oil painting, landscapes, whatever like that. You could teach people how to paint. Okay, you know, you might be the next Bob Ross, and the people say, "Yeah, but there's a thousand people doing so." You'll be a thousand and one. Look, don't let things competition hold you back, man. I tell you, you know, look, we're all going to pass this path once in this world, and this is what I say: if this is your passion, that you want to be a YouTuber, go for it. Okay, and don't wait and put it off and procrastinate. And say, "Well, I'll do it next year. I'll do it next month." Do it now. If this is what you want to do, do it now. Don't wait any longer because the, the days go by, the weeks go by, the months go by, the years go by. And before you know you say, geez, you know, do you want to be one of those people that will say, I should have, could have, and would have? Who knows? You could be the next YouTube celebrity, you know? Never, and never put yourself down. And the other thing I want to say before I get into the other part with, with, uh, the, you know, with Matt uh, Colville's video, um, stay away from naysayers. Well, you don't have to stay away from them, befriend them or anything, you know, like say, I don't want to do you anymore. But don't listen to negativity. That is not going to help you. If you're around people that are talking and saying, oh, you're crazy, you want to start a YouTube channel, you ain't going to make any money with that, or you're not going to be successful with that. Yeah, go tell all the other people out there. Go tell the people like the PewDiePie's and the Mr. Beast and the, the Casey Neistat's, all those people who became successful creating a YouTube channel. Now you might see it, but that's them. It might not be me. You don't know. You don't know. You know, if you, here's, here's what gets me. When people sit to say, I don't know if I could do it, I don't, I don't know if I love it, be successful at it. Do you realize that's like saying the war was lost before it was even fought? You guys could do it. You can. If I could do it, you could do it. You know how I started back in 2013? I had a full time job. I was selling on eBay. I've been with, on eBay for 23 years selling with eBay, but I had full-time jobs with all that, you know, before I got really into it, you know, my last job, I got laid off back in 2016, and I figured, hey, let me throw my hat in the ring, and let me see if I could, you know, make something of this here, so from that point on, I've been doing this here, and it's not no easy road to riches, okay, even the ten channels monetize, it's not like you think, people say, well, you must be making, believe me, it's not what you think, so, okay, so, so even when you hit that plateau where you say, well, I got the 4,000 hours of watch time and, you know, and my, I hit the 1,000 subscribers, my channel's monetized, the money's going to come rolling in. No, it doesn't work that quick. It doesn't have fast, okay? It takes a lot to get to those levels. But, again, I'm not saying that to discourage you. I'm in it. I'm in it for the long haul, okay? I'm not going to start something and not finish it, Okay? And that's the same thing with you. If you have any intentions of starting a YouTube channel, you want to be a YouTuber. Suppose I was listening to somebody, one another YouTube creator that was talking uh, 
about you know YouTube is kid you know these college kids or whatever students they they want they said a percentage I don't remember the percentage so don't get me wrong I don't want to just throw a number out there but it was a pretty decent percentage of people young people that want to be YouTubers they don't want to go to college they want to be YouTubers and why is that because they watch these people they see successful youtubers out there they're making this money and they're making money from adsense plus they have other uh income streams too but the thing is that's like the big thing now everybody wants to be a youtuber okay since i lost my job back in 2016 due to a layoff i want to be a youtuber i am a youtuber okay i got 1588 videos but that doesn't make me a youtube guru that doesn't make that doesn't make a whole heck of difference. And people might say, "Well, maybe your channel grew because you had no, it didn't grow because of that." Believe me, it took me years to grow with this channel. Okay, now again, you know, I started off doing demo videos, sneak peek videos, and intro videos. That's why I started. Then eventually, I broke off. I started doing reseller news, the Let's Talk eBay, and I'm also a vlogger. So there's going to be other things I'm going to throw into the mix, and that's the next point I'm going to get to. Some of these successful YouTube creators that they say, stick with your niche. Okay? I love that word niche. <laughs> but seriously, um, a niche. You know, your niche could change. You know, you could start off being, like I said, I, I could start off, I, I, my background is IT. I mean, I could probably teach people basic stuff on computers and stuff like that. But do I really want to do that? Or do you want to do you want to sustain something? Do you want to you know entertain something else? Do you want to do something different than that? Maybe you know when you were back in the you know back in the IT field, it was a stress. It was a stressful job. You know, and you think about it, it's like yeah, geez, I don't know if I want to talk about that stuff. And besides, what I what I went you know the stuff you know, the uh, the job I was involved with, it was all mainframe. So that's like you know something that's they could they say mainframe is a dinosaur, but well, you're talking back in the 80s and stuff like that. You know, back then it was big. All right, but the thing I'm trying to get across is, folks. Stick with something that you enjoy doing that you're good at, okay? Really. I mean, if, if you, like I said, again, if you are a painter, an artist, you could, like I said, you could paint, you could teach people how to paint, you know? Um, there are, one thing at YouTube, it's an open platform, it's an open gateway to everything. And let me tell you something, as sure as I'm sitting here right now doing this video, I'm not going to probably get a lot of views on this, this video, maybe yes, maybe no, but you know what? Here's the thing, here's the takeaway from it. People will watch it. There will be people watching my videos. How many thumbs up and thumbs down I get? I don't know. That's another story. But you know what? And that's another thing too. Don't let that bother you, the thumbs down thing. Don't let that bother you. A lot of my videos got thumbs down. There's still people are watching them. And they're also getting thumbs up too. <laughs> I can see videos that, I might have videos that they'd have like maybe five or six thumbs down. But then maybe later on I'll start looking them up like maybe months later and I'll start seeing them a lot of thumbs up you know so it doesn't make a difference I don't care that's one thing don't let bother you don't let that inhibit your thinking or your your future plans you know what you want to do with your channel because if you sit to say yeah but every time we do videos they get thumbs down who cares and people say that's how you can gauge your video if it's doing good or not well the way to gauge it is look at your YouTube analytics you see what people cut you know when the, when the uh, average view duration is when do they cut off if you're doing a video that's 15, 20 minutes, and you see like the first three or four minutes, whatever, they're cutting off. Apparently, it didn't capture their, their attention, or it wasn't something that they would, you know, they thought was going to be uh, good at the time. Maybe they didn't like your content or whatever that you were talking about at the time. It doesn't matter. Don't let that bother you. You're going to notice that too. And you're, I, I, I notice it all the time in my videos. I look at my analytics when I create videos. I was like, I, if I create a video, it's an hour long or 40 minutes long or half hour long. It's like, wow. Only five minutes people watch and they turned off. Wow. But you know what? You know, I look at it, folks. That's their problem. You know why? Because it's like reading a book. If you get a book and you read the first chapter, you know how the story ended. Because you, you read the two, first two chapters, you put the book away. You know how it ended. And then you can tell your friend at school or whatever, hey, how was that book you read? I don't, did you ever finish it? Nah, I only read, first, first, I read the first two chapters. So you don't know how it ended? Nah, I don't know. Same thing with this, you know. We create you two creators, us creators. We put out, we try to put out good information out there, and you're going to get people that's only going to watch a certain little tidbit of information from it. Nah, that's something I'm interested. Hey, it's your loss, you know. Us creators, all of us, who put out information on how to become a better YouTuber and how to create, you know, to build your channel up. We go through the trouble to do the research, 
so you guys out there, you newbies, don't have to do the research. Right? I say I do the research, so you don't have to. Now I'm not saying you come into my YouTube channel and the little information I give you is going to help your your channel blow up and you know become uh, super. You're going to make a super YouTuber. Uh, I'm not saying that in, at all. But the thing I am saying is, I'm learning from my own experience, and I'm sharing that with you guys. If you get a takeaway for it, that's a plus for me. Okay, that's all I could say. I put out this information to help. Okay, I don't have a book to sell you, and I don't have a dream to sell you. The only thing I can provide right now is free information. Maybe one day I like to, you know, maybe get into something where I could do merch or whatever to try to make money to, you know, for people who subscribe to my channel, uh, you know, to, you know, in order to, you know, support it. Not to sit there and say, well, I'm gonna go out, make a lot, get a lot of money. I'm gonna go out and buy myself a five thousand dollar camera, or whatever, and stuff like that. It's to support the channel. Okay, um, you know, and it keeps me making more videos. But regardless, how fast this channel grows or slow, whatever it is, I'm not letting that stop me. I'm gonna keep putting videos out there, and whether you subscribe or not, or if you're just a viewer, you'll see those numbers going up. You'll say, this guy. One thing about him, he said he's gonna keep making videos. He's doing it because I'm not letting things stop stop me, folks. And that's how you should have that same attitude. Go with that same attitude. I don't care what people think. If they're gonna, you know, give me a thumbs down or whatever, you may get people that may say nasty things, leave nasty comments. You know what I tell people with that? Report, don't don't report it. Remove it, and don't go back and forth. Don't get to a cyber with it. Don't get into debacles with these people. Apparently, if they don't like your video, they don't like it. There's nothing you can do about it. They either don't like the content or they don't like you. I say that, and I'm not saying it in a, in a bad way. I'm saying it for myself. You know, some people, I know there's people like that give me thumbs down on my videos. I don't really care because I'm still going to be putting videos out no matter what. So that don't bother me. And it shouldn't bother you. Okay, because if you let things like that bother you, you'll never go in. You'll never, your channel will never grow because you'll sit there getting, you know, you'll get depressed or whatever. You say, ah, I don't want to, I don't want to do my YouTube. I don't want to create this YouTube channel. I, I'm not interested in it. All I do is I create videos and they get thumbs down and stuff like that. Nobody likes my videos. Nobody's going to watch them. Yeah, you know, there were times like that. I thought like that my, myself. I said, you know, I thought about it. I said, why am I wasting my time, my conservative energy to sit here, do research, put these videos out. Some are long, some are short. And I hardly get any people to watch them. Why am I wasting my time? I could be doing other things. I could be at the beach. I could be at the park or whatever. But no, I choose to do this. It's a nice day today. It's a nice sunny day out. What, 78 degrees? Nice low humidity out here. I'm in the state of New York here. I mean, I could be outdoors right now walking around the park or doing whatever. <clears throat> but what am I doing? I'm sitting behind a, a computer screen over here with a Logitech Brio webcam over here. Well, actually, I got multi cam webcams around here. That's why if you, you can see sometimes I do different uh, shots. But it, that doesn't matter. I'm just trying to say I could be doing other things. I could, you know, devote my time to other things instead of sitting around here creating videos. But why do I do it? Why do I do it? Because I care about people. I want to try to help them out. I don't always want to have a. I don't always put a price tag on something. Sure, I could probably write a little book, you know, something very basic, and share share the ideas. But I I choose to do it on like this. I put it on the screen. I put it on my my YouTube channel. You know, but I just want to help people out. That's what my YouTube channel is all about—to help inspire and share. Now you might find other people. You might go to other channels that that are you know they may you know have programs or things to buy or whatever, and that's fine. You know, they that's good. You know, uh, some people probably would probably think you know I'm kind of foolish because I should charge or run a program or something like that to teach people, but that's not the way I'm rolling right now with this with this uh, YouTube channel. Okay, I, I want to help people out. I want to share the information I have, you know, my experiences with other people. Plain and simple, you know. That's why I say the most important thing, folks, is that you guys get a takeaway from it. Because if you don't, I say to myself, well, what did I accomplish here? Nobody's getting a takeaway from it. But I'm going to keep putting videos out regardless. I'm going to keep putting them out. You know, it's uh, it's a give or take. You know, you gotta put you gotta put the time into it. It's like anything else, like any other business. YouTube is being considered as a business now. It is. YouTube is one of the greatest platforms out there.
I mean, I know there's other, you know, other places, video uh, platforms where you could post your videos and stuff like that, but YouTube is the number one as far as I'm concerned. That's why I got my YouTube hat here. The patch, <laughs> I put that patch on there, YouTube. I love it. On the back of it says, watch me on YouTube. Um, but I do. What I love about YouTube is it's an open gateway, it's an open platform, and when you put your video out there, if it's done right, you're gonna get you're gonna get that audience out there. You're gonna get people that's gonna recommend your video. You, if you get a lot enough likes and more views, YouTube's algorithm will pick that up and hopefully recommend it, you know, to other other people like the potential viewers or hopefully potential subscribers. Who's ever watching my video now? Hope you'll subscribe to my channel. Check out my other videos if you want. Let's look at the other ones. See what else I talk about. My channel. It is to help inspire and share, but I like to throw little things in the mix. Okay? I like to keep the content fresh. Now, here's the thing. People always say, um, with your niche, if you're a person doing certain things, you should stick with it. Because if you start going to other things, other areas, it might turn your potential subscribers off or it might, it might, you might lose subscribers. But here's the thing. If you like the person, if you like the creator, let me just throw this out there and you tell me what you think. If you like the creator, why would that bother you? Why would you get turned off? Why would you want to unsubscribe to that person's channel if you like the creator? So let's say a person like myself. Um, I teach you, you know, how to build a YouTube channel, or let's say I'm a person that teaches you carpentry and you know, I might want to trip it up a little, do something a little different. Why would that why would you change your mind if you like the person? You know what I'm saying? You, you get where I'm coming from? I don't know why a person would want to unsubscribe. Ah, he, hey, he, he's supposed to do videos on, on DSLR cameras, and now he's talking about uh, building a house, or, or, or he's talking about, you know, uh, he's going to build a computer or something like that there. I, I can't watch him anymore. I gotta, I'm going to unsubscribe. But if you like the creator, why would you do that? Wouldn't you want to, you, you know, watch it? Well, look, but then again, here's the thing. Here's the, here's the thing we find. People say, yeah, but... That's what they're coming to your channel for because they want to talk about that particular niche. That's how you started. And that's what people want to hear more of. But people change. You know, times change. How much could you talk about one particular thing? Watch that PewDiePie video, seriously. Um, and see, and just listen to what he has to say about his, about his video, okay? And t tell me that if you want to drop a comment below, I don't get too many comments, to be honest with you. But what do you, you know, if you want to leave a comment to what, what you got, what takeaway you got from that video, I think you'll know what I'm talking about when you watch it. Okay? Seriously. You know, I mean, I'm not saying, I'm not saying if you have a specific niche that if you go trade off into different things, people are going to, you know, unsubscribe or they're just not going to watch your videos. Look, there's a guy. I'm not going to mention him, who started off with doing photography, digital photography. He'll talk about the cameras, he tells this, that, and the other thing. He tells you a whole kit and caboodle, right? He started another YouTube channel. Why? Well, because maybe that's getting played out, you know? How many times are you going to teach a person how to zoom in and out, you know, the focus and f-stop and all that other stuff there, you know? I mean, how many times are you going to tell? It's just like I said. <laughs> it's like a person teach you how to make pizza. You watch the person's video, they're rolling it out, they're needling it, they're spinning around, they're putting the sauce and the cheese on it, they're slapping it in the oven, and that's it. You watch that person's video, how it's done, and that's it. Are you going to go back there again and watch it? I know, I don't think I would, unless I forgot to, uh, I forgot to add an ingredient to it, whatever, but I think it's pretty cut and dry. Now, if that creator did something else, let's say they did want to teach you something different. Like, let's say, I don't know, they, right, they, they teach you how to make pizza. Let's say they say, well, let me teach you how to fix something on your car. Are you going to watch them? I would. I like the creator. Why wouldn't I want to watch him? Yeah, but it's, he's not talking about baking or cooking. He's talking about fixing a car. All right, so what? <laughs> I'll drive cars. Cooks, carpenters, artists, we all drive cars. It's a big deal. I did a video. I did a video on how to change a cabin filter in a, in a car. And I got, I got, 
I think the last time I looked at it, I think it was over 5,000 views. Oh, it was done years ago. Little simple video. You know, open the door. It was how to change the, how to change the uh, filter in a Kia, a 2012 Kia, uh, yeah, Forte. And it's about, the, it's about almost two minutes long. And I set my camera up outside, my digital camera. I didn't use an iPhone or anything. And I'm showing people how to, you know, change a cabinet filter. Because what happened was I went to the dealer to find out. I called up about it for a friend. And the guy goes, oh, do you get, I don't have to get like $49 or $59 to change a cabinet filter. So I told my friend, I said, look, let me do a video about this here. And I did a video on it. And it got yeah, it got a lot of views. Like, I think it was like four, five thousand, you know, five point four thousand views. What almost yeah, almost 50, five thousand over five thousand views it got from a two minute video. So simple. I did it for my friend. I went to Walmart to get the uh, filter and uh, put it in eight dollars for the filter. That's that was it. Out of, out of something that was going to cost forty nine or fifty nine dollars, it cost it might cost my friend eight dollars for a filter. I didn't charge him anything for it because I wanted. I figured, oh, you know, let me go do the video. I can get the video up on there. You know, that's that's good enough. He's let me use his car and you know do the video on it. They said that's why not. I showed him how to fix, how to how to install the cabinet filter, and uh, I got a video out of the deal. He said it's okay. I go, you mind if I use it? I go, no. What do I care? Go ahead. Different from uh, from talk about you from eBay. Started like that. I did a couple cooking videos. My my YouTube channel. If you look back at my videos, you'll see a whole bunch of different things in there. But you know what? People watch them. But I gotta say one thing. All honesty though, um, with the uh, YouTube Shorts, I have to also say I've been getting a lot of views on the YouTube Shorts. People do like those YouTube Shorts. And I am getting geared up to do more YouTube Shorts. But I want to do long forms like this one here. Okay. I'm just going to play this little clip. Expand a little on the topic. And then I'm going to end this video because I know it's going to be a long video. Because I'm doing a lot of talking. <laughs> so let me, I'm going to have to mute my mic. And hopefully I won't get any uh, any situation with this here, but I just want to play a little clip on here. So let me just advance it a little because we don't want to keep it too, too much. Let's see if I could do this here. Uh, let's see. He talks really quick in this one. Let's see. Right over here. I can, I'll pick it up from here. I'm going to mute my mic now. But what do you think happens after everyone's seen it? Your views tend to improve it. Did you notice I keep using the word series? Well, one-off videos are great, but what do you think happens after everyone's seen it? Your views tend to look like this. One huge spike and then back to normal. That's why to have long-term success with your channel, it's important to come up with ideas that are repeatable. And one way to do that is in the form of a show or series, which I use interchangeably. So, okay, little clip. Was it six minutes long or whatever it is? Or a minute long, whatever it is. What did you get out of that? Roto videos. You see what he's talking about? Just like I said with the pizza thing. You get a video, it spikes up, and then it goes down. Roto videos. That's what I'm trying to say, folks. Watch this whole video. Okay, it's only a clip. It's only a little snippet. But watch the video. See what he's got to say throughout the whole thing. You could take a pen and pair with you, like I always keep on my desk. Or you could just watch the video over and over again, you know, until you get the full you know, comprehension of it. That's what I do. Um, but you see what he's talking about? When he says series, like he said, you know, what happens after you, what happens after it goes on there. You know, it peaks up and then it, it goes down. Um, that's what I'm trying to say. You in order to make a channel be successful you got to come up with different content no doubt about it um, as far as I'm concerned I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing because I think there is somewhat of a pattern here that seems to be working for me on my channel um, I don't know what to tell you guys but 
I would suggest one thing. When it comes to creating a YouTube channel, go in it with creativity, have a creative mindset. And as I always say, keep it real, keep it original, and let your channel grow organically. You know, if you say, well, I don't know what my niche is. Like I said earlier, you have a talent, whatever it may be. Again, you could be an artist, you could be a baker, you could be a carpenter, you could be an electrician, there or plumber. There are videos out there with those things I just talked about, they're out there. Let me say I know. I know that for a fact. There's thousands of them out there. I know, right. But like I said again, folks, what are you going to do? You're going to give up on your dreams? Let me move up here again. Let me go back to this. You're going you're to give up on your dreams? You're just going to like, oh, that's it. Throw the towel in. I'm not. I'm not going to give up. No, I'm not. Because like I said, it took me many years to get this channel monetized. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick to it. I'm going to keep at it. And I hope you guys will get a takeaway from it. And you'll do the same thing. Because, like I said in my other videos, and I'll say it again, you know, you, we're all going to pass this path once in this world. And if this is what you want to do in life, you want to create a YouTube channel because it's something you love to do, you love sharing, you love creating videos, folks, go for it. Seriously, go for it. Don't, don't let anything or anybody discourage you. I think there was a video, I think, I think, um, PewDiePie put out a video, I think, when how we got started in it. I don't know if his parents wanted it. It sounds almost similar to Mr. Beast's story, uh, that his parents wanted him to go to college. And uh, I don't know if he, he dropped that. I don't know the whole story. I don't want to say it. I don't want to mess it up. But it's something to the effect that he knew he wanted to be a YouTube creator, just like Mr. Beast. He tells a story about when he started out, you know, to start doing his channels that his mother told him either you go to school or go out or move out of the house something like that you know because uh, he wanted to do youtube videos he was getting into it and he talks about the story he started off with an iphone 5 i had the 5s i use as a as a camera now and uh he tells that story and i said to myself it all they almost sound similar you know but look at look at uh, mr beast look where he's going with this with his uh, youtube channel look how look where i propelled him mr what's he got mr beast burgers I think he's got Mr. Beast uh, chocolate bars or something like that. He's got other things. And then plus he gets brand deals too. But, you know, the man, the man is making money hand over fist, believe me. You know, just probably with the AdSense alone. And I didn't know he has other channels. Did you guys know Mr. Beast has other channels? I didn't know that. I don't, I don't know if someone said he's got... Don't hold me. I thought I heard someone say he's got 13 channels or something like that. I know I looked up other channels with him because I typed them in Social Blade. And each of those channels, according to their monthly figures, one was like one was one million a month. According to, again, it's, it's social play. Another one was like seven hundred thousand. And they had, if you look at all the different channels, and you look at the estimated annual uh, yearly, you know, the income was, it all varied. So you know, it's like holy cow. I mean. I'm having, I, I'd rather just stick with one. I do have another one. I did, and I did, and I said in my other videos, I did register a couple other ones, but I didn't do anything with them. They're kind of like dormant. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I might delete them. I don't know. There's nothing going on with them. They're just dormant. But I do have another one I use for the uh, eBay business called Shop RJ Pacine for great deals on eBay. I use that there when I want to do demo videos, sneak peek videos, and intro videos, right? I used to do them on this one here, but I don't know if that turns people off. I don't know if people like it. So... You know, if you're going to have a business like that, a side business where you're going to, you know, pertain, you know that's going to pertain to that particular uh, business, whatever uh, format, then you might want to start another channel separate from your main one. But again, with this channel here, I rather, I really would like to just focus on growing this channel rather than trying to grow another one. I, it's a lot of work, and that's when you hear people talking about making, having multiple channels. Holy smokes! I mean, I'm, I'm having a hard time just with just getting this one to you know maintain this one. I can't fathom the idea of having two, three, four, five, you know, all their channels. And that's another thing I want to just say before I close this video out. And this video, by the way, is geared towards the new YouTubers out there. Okay, so I hope you guys get a takeaway from it. Um, for the new YouTubers, 
stick with one channel first okay don't drive yourself crazy because you're gonna get, you'll get stressed out I got that channel I gotta do a video I got that channel I gotta do a video you know look at me I do podcasting too I haven't done podcasting in a couple of days a couple of weeks maybe and I do that I, I my podcasting is on anchor FM that's why I start they give you a half hour uh, you know airtime to you know host your your podcast not bad I've got you know I got you uh, listeners on it not it's not like a Joe Rogan type of pad, podcast but it's a podcast so between that and working on my website which I just got up recently nothing fantastic about my website but I finally you know got it up because there was something that happened something got I don't know there was some kind of uh, corruption or file corruption within the I don't know what happened I don't know if it was on the hosting site or my site I just redid the video I just redid the website all over again you know it's very, very it's a very basic website it's nothing nothing fantastic but I plan on building up on it but you know it's only so many hours in a day you know I do a video like this here it might you know it might take me a, a couple hours probably just to you know edit it and make it you know if I because I always like to make sure you know it sounds good looks good stuff like that so who knows you know but um <clears throat> It's a lot. Just stick with one video first. Get the feel of YouTube, and then if you want to, you know, go forward with another channel, that's when you do it. But do it. Do one thing at a time. Okay. What's I was saying? Uh, too many cooks spoil the broth. You know. Leave it at that. You'll be okay. Okay. All right. Listen. I'm gonna go get ready. You know, to end this video because it is getting close to dinner time. See, I do break. I do break for dinner. <laughs> I, I do break for my my three meals: breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And uh, once I get this video done. Uh, then I gotta work on what tomorrow's video is gonna be like. So we'll see. We'll see where we go with that there. Okay. Uh, just in closing, I'm gonna drop the links of those videos in there to so check them out if you get a chance. And if you want to drop a comment on both of them and let me know what you think, you know that'd be great. Some people don't leave comments on my my YouTube channel. I don't know. Maybe I'm not comment worthy. I don't know. Maybe people maybe people really don't like my channel, my content, or like me. I don't know. I don't. I mean, I do get comments, but. You know, sometimes I guess I guess some people just don't like to you know, leave comments. Whatever, it's okay. Um, if you want to, that's fine. If you don't, that's fine too. I'm not going to be upset over it. But no, but I'm just curious to see what you guys have to say about it. All right, as I say in my videos when I close, if you are thinking about starting a YouTube channel or you already have an established YouTube channel, I am wishing you guys all the best of luck. Stick with it. And as I always say, keep it real, keep it original, and let your channel grow organically. My name is Rich Bassini. I'll talk to you the next time. Bye-bye for now.